Hello, I'm Diane Switek, the founder and director of Banbury Crossroads School. This school is a place where children can live their lives as individuals who are visible and as members of a social group that are responsive to each other in a mutually respectful way. Hi, I'm Anne Bransby Williams and I am the office administrator at Banbury Crossroads School. I've been here for, oh, probably around 27 years and I've seen a lot of people come and go and uh, what I like most about Banbury is it has a very safe environment here, it's bully free, it's a family-like setting and I think students become their personal best here. That's the most exciting thing I think and we help so many people um, to get their education and to have a love of learning. And I would say I feel very proud to be part of that process. English teacher here at Banbury and in English at Banbury what you'll find is the projects you do are based off of what you are interested in. Do you want to learn about the Avengers? We'll do English through the Avengers. Do you want to learn about fashion? Your English is going to be based around fashion. English here is designed to meet your interests while still helping you complete your Alberta program of studies. I'm the science teacher uh, at Bembury Crossroads School and one of the things I like about the school is that students enjoy coming to school, uh, enjoy approach, approaching their teachers about their problems in, in subjects and you know like I truly believe uh, students can learn better and they can learn more if they're happy. So we believe in happiness here at Bembury and I think this is a recipe for success you know if we're going to have um, you know successful learners. something that makes me so joyful to see every single day. She woke up, just want to go to school, tells me everything at school, so confident, so different than um, the shy girl that I have seen three months prior. So I'm very, very, very thankful for the school, for the teacher, and for this environment they have fostered. You're, you have the freedom to try things, and experiment, and do fun things. We celebrate Christmas, we celebrate Halloween, we are on lots of field trips and, the, and things that I see as being sort of hard to do in a large school. Um, and because you keep the same kids year after year for many years, you have to do something fresh every year. So the job is never boring, ever. <laughs> And you know you don't get to reuse a lot of stuff year to year, so you have to come up with new things, and it, so it's challenging. Um, and the kids are great. You get um, you really develop a relationship with them, one that you can um, you know when they're not up to their usual selves, you can talk about it. What's going on with you? And it's a good conversation. It usually comes to, to be a problem solving self. Uh, conversation. And you get to know their parents pretty well too. <laughs> So in 
this school, I like it because we can really do things that we want to do, and there's a lot less stress, and it's smaller. You gotta do what we're doing. All right, so this. it would be, okay, but my question is 0 0.6, right? Yes. You have 0 0.6, and there's only two sides of the 0 0.6. Okay, and there's four sides. What you gotta do is you gotta split it into three separate objects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but talking about strictly this, Oh yeah, that would just be 0 0.6. There's two sides at 0 0.6. Yeah. And then there's four that's 1.5. So wouldn't it be 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 and then 0 0.6 times yeah, 0 so you, Yeah, I said that you were right on that. Oh. I already said that you were right on that. Okay. Yeah. So for the bigger rectangular thing... So uh, the thing I like the best about Banders, so my kids have been here since grade, since kindergarten, so this is year seven, and... They're so happy here. They are upset when we're late. They are not wanting to leave at the end of the day. And the thing I like about it the most is the small teacher-student ratio. They get noticed. You know, any emotional issues get dealt with. They're safe here. And most of all, they're happy and they're thriving. Since 1979, this has been the passion of my heart to bring children together with adults so that they can live their lives in learning. Now, we live in a democracy, and a democracy is healthiest if its members are able to think for themselves, to realize that they need to contribute to their culture and not just expect things from it. And it's based on the idea of mutual respect, because that's the only way that trust can happen, is if each person who is pursuing their dreams knows that the other people around them will allow them to do the same thing. We have multi-age grouping. We have classes of 10. And the students learn to mastery and they learn through projects that they can talk about to their teachers and contribute to the process of what their assignments are. This means that the students are seeing the teacher as a helper rather than the boss or the judge. So it's a very mentoring relationship that happens here, which leads to comfort and relaxation. And that is very important for learning. Concentration and relaxation produce the ultimate in learning. So at this school, it's a peaceful place. The students laugh and the young ones run down the hall skipping and there is a sense of peacefulness and consideration of helpfulness and kindness. This school has a very different spirit in it, and I am really proud of that.